And now, live from Hollywood, California, all the way from Smokeslovania, it's the Count Smokula Show. You want to be where the action is, you want to be right there. So welcome to the cutting edge with Count Smokula and the Nord Clan. Special guests, music, and surprises to share. So welcome to the cutting edge with Count Smoker and Lenora Clan. With Count Smoker and Lenora Clan. Five, four, three. Now that's what I'd call an intro to a show, wouldn't you? You would call it that, and why would you call it that? Because it was something great. Welcome to the program, The Cutting Edge, and Count Smokula, your host, with the other great host, the hostess, Lenora Claire, the Queen of Hollywood, right? Absolutely. How are you doing today, Lenora? Fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's amazing to see us both out in the daytime <laughs> because... Tell me about it. It doesn't know, really happen very often, does it? That's right. No, rarely, man. Mm. We're usually out running around at night. You're, you're checking out the whole scene. But here with The Cutting Edge, right? We're going to be exploring the cutting edge. Oh, oh, And I oh. say the cutting edge oh. of music <laughs> and theater and films and culture of all kinds, even and yogurt. For, for, and performance but art. Performance you can't forget art. performance then art. You can't forget it because forget this it. is the place. The Hollywood of the California, this is probably where a lot of the action is. I know in New York and uh, uh, Podunk. I, I've seen some action. Yeah, what kind of action you seen? You, you remember? Wow, yeah, tell yeah, me, yeah, tell yeah. me. Tell, oh, oh, this was a long time ago oh. back in Smokesylvania. <laughs> he was having a lot of fun back there. 496 too. years ago. That's right. That's when, right. When, when, your, when your class made the field trip to uh, Glitch, <laughs> my native city in Smokesylvania. But the truth is, this is a show not for the unintelligent people. This is a show for people with brains. That's at, yeah. Right? yeah. There, there's you one right there. Thank you. Here we go. Large, right? We have some great guests on the program today. Who, who we should sure do. We, we have the fabulous, glamorous flapper fatale, Miss Bianca. The Bianca, yeah. the great Bianca will be here. She's a, oh. I heard she's a gorgeous and uh, cutting edge uh, fashion model. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. All the fashion statements on, on the internet and the, the runways all around the, the world. All over the all place. All over the All over the world. And uh, who else we got? We got a oh, band. Oh, we do have a band. We have yeah. the Von Stein straight from Germany. Five sexy German brothers. All the oh. way from uh, Germany. I heard of it. That's far away. That's Hi, far German away. German friends out there. The Von Steins came all the way from Germany to be with us today on The Cutting Edge. And we also have <gasps> oh, a very oh. special video. Shh. So, super special. We're world premiering. And not like when MTV says world premiering and Europe sees it first. Like really world premiering. A video by the centimeters, the centimeters, centimeters that was directed by my friend Charles Schneider, and it features David J. from Bauhaus and Love and Rockets. Wow! Yeah, Bauhaus, that's pretty Love big, and big Rockets. stuff, big stuff. Did we and tell you he was hip or what? Yeah, <laughs> so hip. And um, Dame Darcy, the comic book diva, she's in it also. Wow! And they're they're a fabulous LA band, and we're the first people. I mean, the, the video was just done like a week ago. A Nobody week seen ago, it. unbelievable! You guys and it. us, we're yep. gonna be the first people in the world see to it. see this great centimeters video. And it's it's beautiful. Actually, I I showed it to a. To a horror legend, Forrest Ackerman, and oh, he compared it to Kenneth Anger. So that's wow. that's some good stuff right there. We, we, we actually wanted to have Kenneth Anger on the program. Maybe we will. In the Maybe future, we will. Right? Maybe we will. We've got some big people planned. A great underground filmmaker who's yes. still above ground. But you know what I want to <laughs> do right now? No, right now, <laughs> Lenora, I want to show that the, our program, The Cutting Edge, is really, really uplifting. So I want to do some of Count Smokula's major affirmations. Oh, Can we see you. that on the screen? That's it. Yes. And I would invite everyone in the audience, the home audience and the studio audience, and the great Lenora Clare to join me with this because I've lately had uh, some problems with my self-esteem. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I've been going to an analyst and I discovered that if I make these affirmations, I can, uh, I can help myself. And I think everybody else out there has the same problem. Let's watch this. Uh, you got it over there? there we go. And we're going to repeat this three times, so help me. To, to build, build up, up my self-esteem at least once a week, week I will take, take a self-esteem bath. bath. Let's do that again. One more time. To, to build up my self-esteem at least once a week, I will take a self-esteem bath. bath. 
Well, I was going to do it three times, but I think that's Two's enough. good. Two's good. Two's good. No that, uh, that proved to us no that more. our self-esteem is rising <laughs> and we're about to become among the greatest self-esteeming persons in the world. And yeah. you watching the show would catch our self-esteem from us and be happy, healthy, and uh, prosperous as well. And uh, right now, uh, what we got to do? Oh, one more thing uh -huh. I wanted to do. Did you have a joke to tell? You told me you had a... I always have jokes to tell. Which do you... I have... Follow the bouncing have... boobs and follow... Oh, the that's the one I'm famous for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my famous can bit. Can you do it while we're um, juggling in the chair? Okay, I can, I can do it, but okay, we could see uh, about my midget joke. The midget, midget joke. joke. Okay. Oh, it's I have to do it in the chair. I hope it's clean. Okay. Somewhat clean. Okay. There's a gentleman who's about to get married, and so his friends throw him at the bachelor party. They ask him, what's the craziest thing you've ever done sexually? And he's like, I don't know. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. I, I've done everything. They said, have you ever slept with a midget? He thinks really hard, and he says, I've slept with really, really short girls, but never a midget. Well, they go out and they find, what? A midget prostitute. It's true they have them. I've seen them before on Hollywood. So he finds the midget prostitute, and he takes her into the hotel room. And they begin to do what people do in hotel rooms. The friends put their ears to the door because they're very, very curious. And they hear, one, two, three, ugh! Oh my God, what's going on? And then again, you hear, one, two, three, ugh! More frantic. One, two, three, ugh! Unbelievable. So the friend comes out. They run up to him and they say, how was it? How was it the midget prostitute? Couldn't even get up on the bed. Ah. You see, she was, she was one, two, three, uh, to get on she the bed. She tried to get right. on to the bed. Yeah, wow. That's, that's that was a one. funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're starting to call in right now. Yeah. But, and they're, they're, they're saying, Ooh. they're not complaining. But I wanted to, I, you know what, I love the joke, but now we got to get serious with a reading from the Bible. This is, of course, uh, our oh, spiritual our, our Bible. aspect, our yes. uh, Bible. The Weekly World News! Uh. And you know what? I found in this uh, particular issue, this is uh, this week's, uh, Lenora, the Weekly World News. There's an article here that really got me going because, I'll tell you why, this reminds me of my native homeland, Smoke, Sylvania, where we uh, grew up and there was a lot of uh, uh, relation to the next country, Transylvania. But of course, of course. Of course. Don't you hate it when people ask you if that's where you're from, as if there's, there isn't a difference? They ha no, I hate it nuts. because we, uh, my country, Smokesylvania, was near Transylvania. Of right. course, my people were a little smarter and they moved it. Brick by brick, mm -hmm. stone by stone, tree by tree, somewhere else. You know why? I, I don't know. I, I wasn't around. Why? because the weather was too inclement, and we believe they moved it somewhere in the South Pacific. So this summer, we're going to take contributions, and we're going to take a trip to the South Pacific to find my homies. But I want to show you real quick. Oh, yeah. They had a thing here. It's, there it is. Look, this is some kind of crazy vampire called Count Dracula, dresses up like a girl, and goes around biting people in the neck. Can you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Giving the vampires a bad name because they think they're all... Drag queens, can you believe this? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, you know, the things you read in the Bible these days, it's too much. But you know what? We're running okay. from the time. That's right. And I want you to give the introduction to this wonderful video we're going to watch, The Sentinels. Oh, okay. Tell us a little um, more about it, please. Well, on. gosh, they're, they're an L.A. band, and I wouldn't even know who to compare them to. They sort of have elements of uh, a punk band and cabaret music, and the girl singer Nora Key is really amazing, and they're also very visual. And I'm very proud to say that we're, we're doing the premiere. I already explained that a little bit already. And um, the song, it's called Help is on the Way. Wow, watch the centimeters.
Good, I like condensed soup. That's right, condensed That's soup, good. condensed life, condensed school. Imagine I, you could, if you go to school for 25 years, you can condense it into three weeks in, the, in a I, homeschool condensation course. I, I, I would sell this. Cal Sparkler's homeschooling condensation course. Unbelievable. Listen, we got we got the special guest here. Oh, we sure do. Very, 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 very special. It couldn't be uh, been. Bianca, could it be? Uh, it's Miss Bianca. Miss Bianca. Miss Bianca to you. <laughs> That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Miss Bianca, Miss darling. Bianca. Oh, thank Welcome. you. Oh, oh let's smoke oh, with this. I'll get my uh, lipstick. I don't wear my lipstick for anyone, sweetie, even you. Oh, even you. <laughs> I like that you can make a little, uh, little happy little could. hand out of it. So, Miss Bianca, mm -hmm. you are a fashion model? Yes, I'm a model, an aspiring actress, and a flapper fatale. What is I it? like to tell oh. myself. 
Well, I draw my inspiration from the 1920s mostly, and I love like cabarets and all the decadence oh, and like Louise silent Brooks. movies. I oh, love Louise Brooks, just an amazing writer. Most people had no idea that she was such a great writer too. She and she's very intelligent, and very tragic. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and 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 Bianca, although your beauty is is very very unique, mm -hmm. there's I, I have to bring this up because I love her so much and I, I love cabaret. Uh, <laughs> you have a certain <laughs> resemblance to, a to certain Miss certain Liza certain Minnelli. Yes. I'm sure you hear that. I hear that a lot actually especially when I had short really dark black hair right. uh, just the profile the, the nose the Italian nose I think and the big brown eyes yeah I love Liza I think she's amazing yeah. and she's, you she's, sing you sing as well well a little bit well can we I, get a little no. bit of <laughs> I need more lessons I think before I can sing but I'm working on it I, I want to start like a cabaret show of my own sort of like a tribute to the best movie I think that was ever made. So yeah. See, I'll say like for people who don't know your work, the thing that I like the best about it is you incorporate all these these older like flapper elements and, and sort of like bits of like art art deco even. I love art deco. But, but yes. modern, yeah. which a lot of people aren't totally doing. modern. I, I I love the seventies too. I mean it's mm -hmm. not really modern, but like I guess again it comes from Liza. I mean she was like from you know. I think her high point in her career was in the 70s, and I love the whole Studio 54 oh, and yeah. Glamour. Just the total decadence. I'm just really about just divine decadence. Well, you know, my favorite stuff. color is glitter. Oh, and, glitter. And some of us are glamorous <laughs> and some of us are glitterous. Do you know uh, any of the uh, uh, the 70s bands that they did? Oh, yeah, like glam rock. I love glam rock. I, I was raised on David Bowie. My mother was like the biggest David Bowie fan, so I was really lucky in that sense. And uh, I just love the platform boots and everything. So I guess oh, it's kind of oh, like... Oh, oh, who's, who's, who's oh, platform? Can they, can, they, can they show them? Show the platforms. Wow, look, look at my wow, dress. Look. <laughs> that. This is a little Whoops. bit of a... Uh, what, 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 what's that? Shannon Stone there. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you think the 70s is coming back now in the... Yeah, concert? I think it, it comes back, but it's kind of in waves. I think that... Um, perhaps maybe sometime in the near future. People are kind of running out of ideas, so they need to recycle things, you know, which maybe they'll sort of grab a, a bunch of, like, a menagerie of things and sort of just, like, That's spit it out. That's kind of good, though, because you, you get, like, the best parts of everything. You just yeah, I'm that. hoping the early 90s will come back, too. I love the early so 90s. Like, like, what UK, happened? Like, the Manchester <laughs> scene. There's all those great well, bands that came out of the UK. I don't know. Yeah. I, I love, yeah. like, just the whole... I, well, I don't know anything about the Manchester scene, but okay. I like the fashion of the early 90s. Mm. I think it was, like, really, really... It kind of had, like medieval tones to it but it had like that neat dark lipstick and little tiny eyebrows sort of like the 30s and the 20s yeah so like they, that. they got that all from smoke sylvania yeah of course so where, i mean just where the best fashion edge everything comes from. exactly, 1500, exactly. Right? so what kind of modeling is your favorite magazines um, i like it when i can kind of express myself in my own way and i like working with my husband he's a photographer and he he does just the best because we're so comfortable with each other, so we kind of have the same artistic vision and everything. So that's really nice. Well, I, I like heard that. sometimes you don't even wear uh, clothes. Sometimes I'm not wearing any clothes, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's very tasteful. Yeah, it's tasteful. Very I hope. tasteful. <laughs> very very beautiful. Very Thank beautiful. You, yes. Very very beautiful. And where are you from originally? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And yeah. how long have you been in the Hollywood of the California? Uh, I moved here first time in 1999 and moved back to Texas and moved back here again just about six months ago. So, yeah. So you liked so much, really came back. Yeah. And wow. what about what about night spots? What are your favorite Hollywood? I like makeup and cherry. I, I haven't really gotten a chance to go out and do much yet, but I like those too because it's kind of like the glam scene and everything. People are so outrageous and they get Definitely. to wear like... You know, you see everybody in drag and everything. It's really great. I love it. We you see people like Smokula and it. Nora. That's, that's it. But in Texas, now my favorite thing actually in uh -huh. Texas was you uh, like a cowgirl? With no, a hat because actually, you got a hat on. yeah, I have a hat on, but it's 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 very metropolitan. I mean, it's Dallas. You know, it's like any other city. So, but we do have like a little bit of the southern edge, and I love it. I, I love being southern. You know, wow. it's very fun. Oh, this is great. Um, it, it looks like we might We're be. Out of time. Uh, we ready? Yeah, we're ready we for got, it. Yeah, we got the, well, let's hear the music. Von yeah. Steins. Oh, all the Von Steins. Are all great. the Von Steins here? Are we missing a Von Steins? <laughs> we're missing actually two Von Steins. <laughs> what happened to the Von Steins? I'm, I was hoping they would see the note on the door and, and know where to go. <laughs> apparently they don't read English because they are German. I forgot. Can I you guys know. fake it pretty good? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's rock and roll all the way from Bad Munchkins, Germany. <laughs> Come on, stay!
Oh my god, the cat's so excited he got a nipple in his mouth. Oh, oh my god. I'm oh so my excited. god. I'm so that excited. Was sexy. I had a heart attack. Nipples. Well, no, did you see my echo, Mike? No. Hello! I got so excited about the, the Von Steins. <laughs> they was great. <laughs> there were some of the Von Steins. We see it. Some of they they're like jugglers. Yeah, they, oh my god, yes. That's a good uh, Thank you. Let's that's talk to like. someone. Come on, Von Steins. Come on. A whoever is up here. We got a bunch of We got Max and Schmacks and Pax and Ludo and Scudo <laughs> and Ludo. There's um, a lot of on steins. I think we got one chair. Design. If another one wants to come one up, chair. you can sit on my lap. Stand. 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 I'm just trying to. Which one's Von Steins? This was great. Which one are you? <laughs> Magnus. Magnus. Can we hear Magnus? Do we have a mic up, or uh, or we or we got a, a boom oh, yeah. mic in the bring, room? Bring the boom down. The move. The great man. Which which Von Stein is this one? Yeah. Miak. Can we hear them? Nice. Oh, this is okay. great. And, and wait, there's other, wait the, which are the missing Von Steins? Who? Guther and Udo. That's right. And 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 though, there's there's one. Oh, and Helmet. And, and Helmet, thank you. Okay, helmet. helmet. So how long you guys been here? And why, why you say you're from Germany? You don't speak like Germans. You speak like Americans. You sound good to me. I, I have no problem with you uh, speaking. Just really acclimated to Southern California. Yeah, they just, That's I guess they just fit in so well. And what kind yeah. of music you call this? I have no idea. I, I, I um, <laughs> Didn't you guys just get voted uh, best life band in the LA Weekly? Uh, best pop rock. Best pop. That's awesome. Well, I, I guess, I guess for lack of a better term, newer wave sort of works. Yeah, people use that term. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's definitely it harkens back to '80s kind of new wave yeah, kind of stuff, but I, I think it's stuff. still fresh and new. You mean you are that throw? <laughs> no, no. They just like just like Miss Bianca. They get the best parts of what they like and they totally make it better. That's it. They they, they put it together. Yeah. They like a pot like with the chicken and the <laughs> stew and the whole thing. You melt it up and you and you make it the cutting edge. It's exactly. unbelievable. How long have you been in the Hollywood of the California now, gentlemen? Um about five years been together. Wow. Well, yeah. Five years. Now I heard something crazy. I heard a few of you members met at church. Is that true? Is no, this true? That's not true. Um, yeah, I so what? With, I guess if you're German, is that is that, a, is that a Lutheran church? The Germans are Lutheran. What? How's Lutheran. that work? Yeah, Lutheran church. So then, but now, but now you guys are wild and crazy. How, how does that work out for you? Well, I think we're still bringing like the Christian theme into songs like Hot Sex. Um, <laughs> Always. Yeah. Right. Hot I mean, well, I mean, Christians still have sex, and it might as well be hot. Yeah. Um, Somebody's making some kind of noise. <laughs> he's either asleep or he's dead. I don't yeah. know. Which one? Bring up this other one, Stein. Come on, let's look at him. He's, because he's the, but he plays the drums. He plays right? the drums, but today he sings. He sings. Yeah, we're it's wonderful. wonderful. Well, I mean, we really don't need. I mean, Joey or Guther. Guther. <laughs> um, he doesn't. He doesn't sing anyways. I mean, we just have a backing track. It's like a big production. Right, right. So I mean, it's not that big of a deal to be without him. Okay. Obviously, so, I mean, obviously. You know, I mean, we did yeah. it great today. Which one, Stein, is this one? I'm a helmet von Stein. Helmet. helmet. I don't see any helmet on you. That, no, but that's it. Helmut. 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 So why do you say you're from Germany, guys? 
That's because, true. Because, because they, they are. are. They like, are. You know what? I mean, we're brothers, can't you tell? I mean, yeah, they're all brothers. Really, I <laughs> think more in the nose area is really where you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, man. They're all brothers. Everyone says to me, like, you, you talk like a valley girl. I just think I'm, I'm from here, but we're from Smokesylvania. I like, just fit in so well. You just pick up the pop well, culture. Germans are really and... smart and efficient. Sure, and, you know, sure. We've picked up the English language. Got Udo Kier yeah. and Nina Hagen. And English is a Germanic language. Yeah. That's Thank it. You. That's it. it just so. Fit in so well, but now you live in where uh, Anaheim? Is that where? Cyprus. 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 Okay. So, Cyprus. I heard of it. This is like where the trees are and everything. Where the trees and, are. And there's a big music scene there, punk rock and oh, alternative yeah. and the whole. Cyprus. Thing. Actually, yeah, that's where a lot of the punk bands came from, and you know they kind of mic you know started in Cyprus, kind of migrated out. You know, it's, it's a mecca. Really? Yeah. Cultural what makes mecca. them? I mean, but you know, you don't really know that unless you do some research. But I mean, it's it's there. What makes them so excited? Books. So excited they got to play punk rock. Um, are they we're angry? Just, we're just excited lads. Are you angry? Yeah. <laughs> we're, just, we're, just we're angry? No, we're not angry. No, they look like happy fellows. Yeah, they're happy, fancy, yeah. fancy lads. And it's you got a record easy. out now on, on your own label? Um, right? sort of, yeah. Sort um, of, yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, we're talking to a couple different different labels to get the so, record out. It's tough to get a record deal nowadays, right? It's very tough. Yeah. Yeah. But you do what you like the best, is playing the music and rocking and rolling. Exactly. And you know, I, I heard the other day Rodney Bingenheimer plays your music on a show on mm -hmm. K-Rock. I think yeah, it, it does. Yeah, he had a really nice quote. I wish I had written it down. Yeah, it's guys. really, it's kind of a weird quote. It I really bet makes he said, sense, but... I bet he said it was good. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. It was good. They jump on out. And they're good. You know what, guys? At this juncture in the time, it's really great to have you all here, <laughs> all of you who showed Fantastic. up. We lost a couple in the parking lot. That I happens. Think. They yeah. couldn't find a place to park the car. We got the, get <laughs> the great the Polish as well as we do. The unbelievable <laughs> Bonstein, the gorgeous Bianca. It's stunning. The, the incredible, incomparable Lenora Claire. And right now, I want you all, under your seat, you'll find the little uh, items. We got some fruits and stuff. Uh, what we're going to do gonna is do a little smoke oh, Sylvania in the jamming, like the way we do it back home at the Schlabans. It's great for you all to be here at the cutting edge of rock and roll and everything. Let's do a little bit of Jamming, hey! <laughs> Hey! Wonderful show! Everybody! Hey! 